Hi and welcome to Partex Tech Lightning. Today I will talk about the importance of protection, specifically DDoS protection. I'll explain what a DDoS attack is and what options we have in Azure to mitigate this. So let's start with the details so we can protect our infrastructure right away. Now, let me first explain what a distributed denial of service DDoS attack is. A new company called Potex Tech Lightning. They have a web server which they serve content to the end users. When a user types in the URL potextechlightning.com, the server needs to respond back with some really cool content. Now remember, every time someone visits the URL, the server has to respond. This response, as little as it may be, takes resources from the server. There are malicious actors out there in the world who have thought of ways to exploit this behavior. Now these actors have advanced tools and may have hijacked thousands of computers all over the world. They then hit a button and all these computers start sending requests to this one server. What happens? The server is busy just answering the request, so it's not able to serve new requests. The result is that you will not be able to get your content. Throwback. If you're an older schooler like myself, you might remember the good days of IRC and 7th Sphere. Now, 7th Sphere, this was a tool which you could DDoS people's computers at time, that time into oblivion. Um, which, of course, a 13-year-old self, I never did that one. But uh, back on topic. How do we mitigate this in Azure? Well, there are two primary defense mechanisms in Azure for this. We have Azure DDoS Protection Basic and Azure DDoS Protection Standard. Azure DDoS Protection Basic is integrated into the Azure platform by default and it's already enabled in every WeNet with no additional cost. The basic protection is missing many features that are available in the standard version. It's, for example, missing telemetry and alerting. Also, it has a much higher threshold before the protection kicks in. So this alone may cause some application to actually go down if you're experiencing a DDoS attack. Azure DDoS Protection Basic, it provides active traffic monitoring and always on detection. DDoS Protection Basic, it monitors your application traffic patterns all day, every day searching for indicators of DDoS attacks. It has automatic attack mitigation. Once the attack is detected, it is mitigated. Then we have the more advanced DDoS protection standard in Azure. Now, this service is quite costly, starting at roughly $3,000 a month, which includes protection for 100 resources. Additional resources are $30 a month per piece on top of this fee. With that price tag, I'm sure you want to know what you're getting. The DDoS Protection Standard Service is also enabled per VNet and automatically protects all the resources within. It has always on traffic monitoring, where traffic patterns are monitored 24 7, looking for indicators of DDoS attacks and will mitigate them when found. It integrates with the web application firewall, WAF, in Azure. This provides an additional protection as DDoS protection operates at layer 3 and 4, while the WAF at layer 7. Analytics, you have that with integration of SIEM systems. In addition to this, the most important part is actually the DDoS Rapid Response Team, DDR. If you're under attack and you can engage the DDR team from Microsoft to investigate during and after. So imagine you're being under a heavy DDoS at attack and you get immediate engagement and assistance from a team that does nothing but investigating these attacks. Let us also not forget uh, that you have a cost guarantee. Certain services in Azure, they scale up based on the load and the traffic it receives. If you're under attack, your response team will actually look into this. And if your services scale way too much, you are covered here. You will be able to give get service credits from Microsoft back afterwards if it's deemed that your infrastructure scaled up because of a DDoS attack. How do we enable DDoS protection standard? Well, to be honest, it's not very complicated to set this up in Azure. First, you need to create a DDoS protection plan. You select a subscription, resource group, 
and you put in a name and region. To enable it, you open up a VNet where you want to enable it, you scroll down to DDoS protection, and on the right hand side you tick the button enable. That's it. Uh, the protection and charges for this service will start immediately. Before we end, let's take a note of these important considerations. Azure DDoS protection standard is zone resilient by default. No configuration is necessary for this. Uh, there's only minimal configuration available and it's not possible, for example, to put IP addresses on a white or a deny list. The only protected uh, instances are, for example, public IP addresses for VNets, um, VMs, load balancer, application gateways, firewalls, bastion, and VPN gateways. We now have a good understanding of how Azure DDoS protection works. You will always be faced with a decision, is Azure Standard DDoS protection required? Yes or no? So, the key takeaways are then. A. It's costly with a base price of roughly $3,000 a month. B. You do get an uh, advanced DDoS protection for your public IP addresses. C. You have access to Microsoft DDoS Rapid Response Team if required. Until we meet again, stay safe and protected. See you.